as you guys saw in the title already, this video is uh, how to time lapse like Casey Neistat. Now, I haven't learned from him exactly, but like he's made a few tutorials and he's also um, like he's made a lot of like time lapses and stuff. And he's also shown like how he does them. And uh, so I'm gonna show you that and then I'm gonna show you like what I do for my time lapses. So let's get into the video. Step to uh, time lapse like Casey Neistat, you're gonna need a DSLR of some kind. You can either let the camera like just record straight for like a good amount of time, which however much you need of a time lapse, or you can use um, <clears throat> some cameras come with the time lapse feature now, or now you're gonna have to buy the little remote controller that uh, I guess uh, takes a shot or whatever every like three seconds or whatever it is. I think it's an intervalometer or something like that. But I mean, that's expensive. So, I mean, most cameras, like I said, come with it. This one has it, and then my DSLR has it. <clears throat> but what I normally do for my uh, time lapses, I just let it roll, kind of like Casey. I just like let it record the whole way and then um, fast forward it and post. And uh, I think I'm gonna try both ways and let's see which one you guys prefer. One of the main important things about doing a time lapse also is like finding something that is normally kind of slow. Like, a lot of people use clouds as a good uh, thing to use for time lapses. Um, today, I'm going to be using the freeway. All right, so I'm walking up to the location right now. It's pretty loud over here because it's the freeway. But, uh, so what you're going to need is some type of, like, tripod or something like that. So that way you can, like, hold the camera in. All right, just so you know, this thing is not safe. I'm using my GoPro gooseneck thing, and then I'm using my tripod against the wall, and then my backpack is going to be, like, the safety drop in case it falls. I do not recommend doing it this way at all, but uh, that's all I got, so you gotta make do with what you got. So first thing is, like I said, mount the camera somewhere where you can get a good angle of whatever you're trying to film. Then you have to um, make sure the camera's in manual mode. That way the, uh, the exposure and stuff like that doesn't automatically adjust and it'll mess up your shot when you fast forward it. like to do is I like to just let it uh, record straight for five minutes that's how I do it I don't really use the uh, time-lapse feature in the, in the actual camera so at least I'll show you guys both ways but this is how I do it I don't know if you guys can see it but it says five minutes and something seconds so I already went over so let me go ahead and stop that and then uh, let me get into the time-lapse feature all right so I got it going uh, so all the information is up here. I have it set to take 300 shots, which is equivalent to about 10 seconds of footage. So doing it this way takes a lot longer, but whatever, let's try it. Like in my opinion, if you're just trying to do like a quick running gun, hurry time lapse, you do it the first way. If you're trying to get like a quality time lapse, you do it this way, which takes longer, but it's a picture, so I think it'll look even cleaner than like the actual uh, just filming straight and, and then fast forwarding it later. Alright, wow, so I'm not gonna lie, I, uh, I actually like the second one better, which takes longer to make. And I was right, actually, I knew it was gonna, it was gonna, you know, come out better. It looks cleaner than fast-forwarding it, I guess. But in my opinion, it's just not practical. Like, if you're running and gunning, or if you, you know what I mean? Like, I see why Casey and I sat, wouldn't sit there for, like, you know, 30 minutes, like I pretty much did, trying to get, like, 10 seconds of a time-lapse. I mean, yes, it looks nice, but is it practical? It's just not. I mean, especially if you're out with friends or something like that, and you're trying to film with your homies or whatever, it's just, it's not gonna, it's not gonna benefit you to sit there so long, and then, you know, because, I mean, the longer you take doing that, you're missing out on other content you could be recording. So, I mean, although it looks better, it takes longer. I mean, unless you're out dedicated to go get time-lapses like I was, then I wouldn't do it that way. And then also, like I've done in the past, <clears throat> when you do the fast-forwarding type of time-lapse, you can also, you can like mess with it. You can stop it in between. You can like, you know, uh, highlight things or whatever that pass by that you want to talk, you want to show or talk about. Whereas this, you can't really do that because it's not like one sequence of a video. It's just like pictures moving very fast. So yeah, there you go. That's how you time lapse like Casey Nice that you just literally set the camera up on some type of tripod or some type of thing like I did, which I had to just propelled against the wall and on a GoPro like a uh, gooseneck clamp type of thing. And then, um, or if you have a tripod, like an actual tripod, which I should have brought, that would that would have made it for a better time lapse. But I mean, I did with what I had at the moment. But uh, this concludes the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys can. And I'll see you guys in the next video.